What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Marcel P. Black, checking in. This is his search of the Black Messiah Deluxe Edition Deconstructed. Uh, I'm trying to do this thing where I break down my album. It might be track for track. It might be one or two, but today we're going to start off with just one at a time. Let me put this in context for you. So, um, I had this great album that dropped originally on October 15th, 2019. That was a search of the Black Messiah with uh, COVID and family grief, pretty much. The way I was going to work that album got shut down, so I decided that this album is too good, just to kind of sick. Or what have you, so I decided to re-release the album in search of the Black Messiah Deluxe Edition, you know what I'm saying, added four new tracks. Um, so yeah, here we are, you know what I'm saying, probably about a month later. Um, I had this big rollout idea to do this week by week, but hey man, life got in the way, but here we are now, there's no time better than the present. Label, Maroon Music, it was executive produced by Brian M. Williams, which is myself, and uh, Stephen Brown, a.k.a. Fifth Child. It was the original album, uh, In Search of the Black Messiah, was mixed, mastered, and recorded all in Jackson by Fifth Child at Cole's House Studio. Um, Shin did the new songs, you know what I'm saying? He he uh, he uh engineered the new songs, recorded them here in Baton Rouge at Soccer Studios, but the whole album is still um, executive produced by um, Fifth Child. So I'm not going to waste no time. Let's get into the First song from the album, the title track from the album, Black Messiah. Black Messiah was produced by EF Cut, and I'll tell, the start, start, that's tell that story about this song later. Um, this is one of the few songs that the album does have a video. So instead of playing the song, I'm just going to show you the video or what have you. Um, it was done by the Works LLC on location, summer 2019 in Jackson, Mississippi. Let me get my ugly mug off the screen so we can... Uh, get to proceed, proceed this evening. Um, well, I'm going to be definitely stopping um, and talking about what's going on in the song. So, you know, forgive me if it gets too choppy, but I just kind of want to break down what the record was about. You see, the problem is, man, nobody taking time out to look at these young brothers and sisters in these streets, man. We want to look to all the different politicians, man. Nobody coming to save us. We got to do this for us, man. So I'm at the point my career, man, ain't about me. It's about these young boys, these young girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to find the next Black Messiah every single day, from any circumstances. You know what I mean? These, these young people going to be the ones that's going to take us into the future, man. Come on, bro. Oh, Lord. Somebody tell the town crier. God is in the building, return of the Black Messiah. Coming straight up out the South Country, grandma out my mouth. Run away up in my bloodline, nigga. Ain't no turn around, I keep freedom on my with the heater by my side, keep my families on speed dial if a nigga need to ride. Got some neighbors that I bang you if it's ever going to die. Uncle Sam, worst nightmare street niggas organizing ghosts to egg a hoover. CB building with the groovers, trying to close the gap between black youth and revolution. You see, the problem is, man, nobody taking. So I say, I keep freedom on my mind with the heater by my side. Got some families on so speed dial if a nigga need to ride. Got some neighbors that'll bang it if it's ever going down. Uncle Sam's worst nightmare squeak. Niggas organize the ghost of Edgar Hoover. CB building with the groovers. Trying to bridge the gap between black youth and revolution. What I'm referring to is, you know what I'm saying, uh, coming from all Oklahoma, who grew up around people who were gang affiliated. Um, um, my whole goal has always been to be like, a, you know, Marcel P. Black as a character, part of that character has always kind of spoken through the voice of a Bunchy Carter and or a Fred Hampton brothers that was in the streets or working in the streets to try to politicize gang members, right? And so for me, one thing a Black Messiah shall do, and these guys were Black Messiahs, partially because their ability to go back into the neighborhoods in the midst of gang warfare and try to politicize these people, um, and it was seen as a threat. Um, one of the reasons, one of the main bullet points of um, uh, J. Edgar Hoover's Cointel Pro, and honestly, the thing that this whole album is based around, you know what I'm saying? Um, if, if you look on the screen right here, it says, we must prevent the rise of a, of a messiah who could unify and electrify the militant black nationalist movement. So when I say... I got some neighbors that are banging if it's ever going down, top of neighborhood crips. When I say I got my families on speed dial if a nigga need to ride, I'm talking about Inglewood family's blood. When I'm talking, I say the ghost of Edgar Hoover, CD building with the groovers, 
trying to bridge the gap between black youth and revolution, I'm talking about J. Edgar Hoover and I'm talking about the Hoover Crips or what have you. You know what I'm saying? So this this is the direct quote. But you know, the way I remember it mem memorize it is is that he said we must uh separate the young black men from the revolution in hopes of preventing the rise of the next black messiah. So when I make that reference, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I kind of lost my place. Let me get it back real quick. Bloodline nigga ain't no turn around. I keep freedom on my mind with the heater by my side. Keep my families on speed dial if a nigga needs a ride. Got some neighbors that'll bang you if it's ever going down. die. Uncle Sam, worst nightmare street niggas organized the ghost of egg a hoover. CB building with the groovers. Trying to close the gap between black youth and revolution. I'm with the trappers asking how we find a real solution. How we can clean up all this money, stop this dope pollution. Killing our own, keep these police out of my zone. Since that 7 EP drop, feds probably tapping my phone. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna stop there. Since that 7 EP drop, feds probably tapping my phone. What I'm referring to is my project 7. 7, which came out. In September of 2017, um, that is the song that had, that is the album that has the song Hallelujah, aka F. Donald Trump. I went on a really serious touring campaign going around the country for the last three years saying F. Donald Trump. The whole project is like my most political, aggressive uh, project to date. You know what I'm saying? Anti Trump, anti deplorable, anti with Tea Party, anti Republican, anti white supremacy. You know, I called out Richard Spencer. I talked, I called out uh, Steve Bannon by name, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so if there's anything that got me on the FBI's most wanted list, it is the Project 7. So let me find my place again. You see, you see the problem is man. all this money stop this dope pollution. Killing our own, keep these police out of our zone. Since that 7 EP drop, feds probably tap my phone. I know they stare and whisper, can't get pictures by the low. If I never get that witcher, you know my music will live on. Hold on. Somebody won the town crier. God is in the building, return of the black messiah. It's imperative that we organize, man, that we educate these young brothers and sisters, man. It's imperative that we make sure they get all the opportunities that we never had, man. Somebody won the town crier. God is in the building, return of the black messiah. I don't care if you're blood, I don't care if you're a crib. Talking about the power in the black dollar. I been talking about black nation building, protecting black women, protecting black children, blacks on the land, black beers, black jobs. No more blue eyed Jesus. Black people need a black God. So, um, Go back and bump that black collar. I been talking about the power in the black dollar. I been talking about black nation building, protecting black women, protecting black children, blacks on the land, black beers, black job. No more blue eyed Jesus. Black people need a black God. So, um, that comes from my song Black Collar. I dropped the album in 2014, almost six years ago to the date called Black Collar, and the lead single also was called Black Collar, produced by the same person who produced, uh, you know, uh, Guys Trombone and One Love, you know what I'm saying, Jay Philly. Um, yeah, so with me personally, in my personal politics, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rooted in uh, the politics from people from the Black Power anthem, era, rather. So starting with uh, Malcolm X and ending with the... Uh, Black Panther Party, you know what I'm saying, Stokely Carmichael, you know what I'm saying, Huey P, things of that nature. Um, and for me, in my personal politics, I judge everything compared to the Black Panther Party 10-point program, period. That's what I judge everything to, right? So when Q put up his contract with Black America, with Trump's little punk ass uh, platinum plan, with Biden's Lift Every Boy's plan, with our Black Party's agenda, with the Congressional Black Party's agenda, with the Movement for Black Lives agenda, I compare it to the Black Panther 10 point, 10, uh, point program, what have you. And uh, so when I made the song Black Collar, I wanted to have a song that reflected that, that, uh, that those type of sentiments. So I made my own Black Collar five point program. And it, uh, I say, we believe the original man slash woman needs a God that reflects their being. Number two, 
we not only struggle for the power to determine our own destiny, we believe in empowering ourselves to create our future. Number three, we believe the people need an education that will teach them to live free. Number four, we believe in defending ourselves and protecting our women and children. Number five, we believe in building black owned businesses and circulating the black dollar within the community. So, you know, I said it, but let me hear you. Let me let y'all hear how I did it on the record. Music to live to let go. What's the definition of black dollar? Black God, black empowerment, black scholars. Protect the black woman in the black child. Build black businesses and circulate the black dollars. And the God do it is here. Pop. So if you it and you feel it, I'm black holler. Cause I would never give you nothing to kill you. I just wanna give you something to live to. After this, after this. All right, so yeah, so that's black collar. So when I said go back and bump that black collar, that is what I'm referring to. So let me go back to the song. Okay, let me find my spot. You see the problem is you're a crib, a GD vice lord. The guy is within you even still, man. Oh Lord, go back and bump that black collar. I been talking about the power in the black dollar. I been talking about black nation building, protecting black women, protecting black children. Blacks on the land, black beers, black jobs. No more blue eyed Jesus. Black people need a black God. Taking care of both physical and mental health. No more waiting for permission. We gon' do it all for self. Taking care of both physical and mental health. No more waiting for permission. We gon' do it all for self. Um, this whole song, Black Messiah, is the title track. So it foreshadows everything that I talk about on the album. In, in one way or another, right? So we already know the several songs where it is me trying to reach young people in the street trying to find the Black Messiah. But even on the more personal tip, when I talk about uh, taking care of both physical and mental health, I'm talking about the song Shake Back. When I talk about my own personal struggles with depression and things of that nature, and uh, I talk about my struggles with diabetes, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, so it, it speaks to several different things on this album, just a song alone. And since the feds watching, I'm gonna be fresh as hell. For instance, and if the feds watching, I'm gonna be fresh as hell. I have a song called Feds Watching. If you heard the album, you know you know what the song is about. We're definitely gonna break that down real heavy when we get to that later. I'm gonna be fresh as hell. I got that for two chains. I'm gonna be fresh as hell, lifting feds watching, and I flipped it. If the feds watching, I'm gonna be fresh as hell. I got a song called Black Guy Fresh featuring Big Sign. Hopefully, I can have him on here. We can talk about that record later. But yeah, so like I said. Things speak to what happens on the whole album if you listen to the first song. Trying to fight heaven on earth with don't know devils. Well, a street preaching you. Trying to find heaven on earth with don't know devils. Well, one of the main focuses of the album is decolonizing the African mind as it pertains to spirituality and you know, talking about black people having their own black God. Um, which you know, what I'm saying is it's, 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 the, it's the higher being that we pray to to get free not to people, uh, not the higher being that the oppressor prayed to us for us to stay in shadow enslavement. And you can, you know, I definitely get into that deep on um, God's trombone as well as the song over, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, the intro definitely speaks to the rest of the album. Use rap music to reach people. I squeeze, see the culture freedom, leave it deep is leaking. Speaking freedom every single time I breathe and singing. New Negro spirituals that probably got them people peeping. Staring at Against everybody, all these weapons put against us. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we gotta 
So that is the video and the song for Black Messiah. As I said, it's one of my favorite songs. It's a perfect song to start off a set. You know, the beat slap, the content is heavy. Um, the verses are written where it's kind of spacious to where, you know, even though I fall into some pockets, it's not a whole lot of words. And so I can get across what I'm trying to say pretty effectively. So it's, it's become a great way for me to start my set every single night. So let me tell you how I got the beat. I want to say it was July of 2000, no, August of 2018. Um, my man Sky Zoo was in New Orleans along with J-Mo Gang. It's a gang of, gang of uh, producers and MCs headed by the legendary God MC, Raz Cass. Um, I went to the show, so I had just seen Sky. I, I knew I had the verse with Sky Zoo. Nobody else knew, but he and I knew I had a Sky Zoo verse at the time. This was before the album came out, probably about a year and a half before the album came out. Um, so, you know, I had just seen him literally three or four weeks earlier in Columbus, Ohio at 2 by 2 He saw me perform. We dabbed down. He introduced me to Apollo Brown. So when I saw him, this is the third time I've seen him since March or February, what have you. And, you know, so it was all love. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely a level of familiarity to him. So we dabbed each other down. He shouted me up from stage, and I was lit. I was super-duper drunk, full of them screwdrivers. Um, I can't remember the name of the venue, but I, I was I was way – I drank way too much. Thank God Mark Dub uh, uh, drove me there. All the New Orleans homies was there from uh, uh, Automatic was there, Truth was there, Alpha was there. So I was, I felt like I was really, really comfortable and I drank way too much. Razz Cast performed, we chopped it up, we exchanged numbers, we talked about doing some music and it never really came to fruition. But it was a good, good night, right? So as we get ready to leave, the house DJ for tonight was DJ EF Cutting and he was playing this cold ass beat where everybody was leaving. And like I had on um, a bright red Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, a bright orange Oklahoma City Thunder hat and an even brighter orange Oklahoma, uh, uh, polo shirt on, what have you. And so I run them and fall over. Everybody's like, look at this, look at this moving pumpkin or jack o lantern or whatever, running towards the stage. I'm like, Unk, who beat that is? Who that beat for? He said, that's me. I said, Unk, I need that. I said, when I sober up, I'm going to hit you up. I'm going to need that beat. Boom. He sent me the beat. I wrote the record. It was an easy write. Um, you know, it was one of the situations where, you know, it just kind of spoke to me and it became what it became. So that is the story of song number one. Black Messiah, produced by EF Cutting, the video shot by the Works LLC in Jackson, Mississippi, August, August of 2019. I've been saying something I didn't really know what it was. All right, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to go too long today because I'm still trying to figure this out. I don't want to ruin it. Definitely not trying to make it any worse than it already is. You know what I'm saying? But if you're watching, if you're listening, uh, you can go to marcelpblack.bandcamp.com. You heard me? MarcelPBlack.bandcamp.com and get you some merchandise, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody touring. You know what I mean? So I, I was smart enough not to get a whole bunch of CDs and cassettes and things of that nature to sell, but I do have some, and they have done pretty well online and some hand to handle what have you. But I'm still trying to get off what I get off. So every single time we talk, y'all gonna have to hear me give you this particular sales pitch. We got hoodies. You see the hoodies right here. You know what I'm saying? Done by Queen Me 31. We got tees done by Queen Me 31. We got the physical CDs, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, the cassettes, what have you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like bandcamp.com. I'm actually doing a special right now. You feel me? You get your CD, which is normally $12. You get your cassette, which is normally $15, which would all together be $27, you know what I mean? We're shipping the handling now. I'm doing a two for 20, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested, go to marcelpblack.bandcamp.com or what have you, or you can hit me in my DMs on uh, Marcel P. Black on Instagram, Marcel P. Black on Twitter or Facebook, Marcel P. Black, and I'm going to get you straight. Like I said, we got the digital, we got CDs, we got the sets, tees, the masks are coming soon. We're still working on the masks and hoodies. Go to marcelpblack.bandcamp.com. Yeah, man, that's it. Marcel P. Black. Deconstructed, uh, in search of the Black Messiah, good luck. Allah Mahabe. Freedom.